A shave with some old friends coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeToon.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. I love getting together with you and sharing the traditional wet shave with you. So thank you very much. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out the other videos and also please consider subscribing. Well, the intro was a shave with some old friends and that's exactly what this is. And I have some old friends that I haven't shaved with in quite some time, and I got some new old friends that I haven't shaved with in quite some time. So let's just start with uh, one of the new old friends, and that is uh, Future Fiction uh, in Formula CK6 from uh, Phoenix Shaving. This is was the first shave soap that I used from uh, Phoenix Shaving, and I absolutely fell in love with CK6 and the scent and the performance it was just absolutely wonderful so we're gonna and also the art i was just really attracted to the art just fantastic so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shave with a formula ck6 uh future fiction formula ck6 and i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my travel skull and yeah i know a lot of you guys are gonna say i'm using too much soap but hey here it is right here i'm i know i know Probably, that's probably a little too much, but you know what? I like to get that nice big lather, nice heaps of lather, and just love the, just love the lathering process. So we're going to put that in there, and I'm also going to add a little hot water to it, like that, just to kind of get things moving along. Yeah, just love the lathering process. I really do. Um, also going to kick it off with the, uh, right here, okay, kind of stuck to the dock there, <laughs> the cube. 2.0 uh, CK6 activated charcoal. A lot of good skin food in here. Uh, we're going to use it as a degreaser to kind of wash the face and then also rub it on as a pre-shave. So we're going to use that. I like that a lot. I'm going to use my uh, Amber Aerolite razor, uh, razor, Amber Aerolite shaving brush. I, <laughs> yeah, I've got the razor on my mind. The Amber Aerolite uh, shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. We're going to use that. Now, let's talk about the razor. Yeah, this is a razor I haven't used in uh, in quite some time. This is the uh, Vikings Blade Emperor Augustus Adjustable Safety Razor. Boy, I love this razor. This is absolutely beautiful razor. Love the weight, love the heft to it. Uh, twist to open, continuously adjustable from one to nine. A very smooth adjustment from one to nine. Really, really terrific. And the blade I'm going to use is also another old friend that I haven't used in quite some time, an Astra Green. Boy, these are wonderful razor blades, aren't they? I think that if you were to uh, take a poll of wet shavers and ask them to list their top three, if not their top five razor blades, Astra would always be on that list. It would be somewhere one to three or one to five. It also it would always be there. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to load this uh, blade right now into... The, uh, the razor, uh, the doors are already open, and let me see if I can, yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Astra, I'm gonna try to, try to move that so you can see the word Astra there. But it is an Astra blade, Astra, okay. And we're just gonna set it in there like that. Make sure it's flat, because this razor has an anti-misalignment mechanism on it. So if the razor blade is flat, sitting flat, and the razor is upright and everything's straight, the doors will close. If not, then the doors kind of are, get, get trapped and they won't close completely, so you have to kind of start over. So it's an actual feature built into this razor. Okay, so there it is, it trapped a little bit, so I gotta have to make sure that that is down. There we go. How cool is that, huh? And we're gonna set this to, um, Setting number five. That's where I want to. That's where I want to start. Level five. Setting five. So we're going to do five on the first pass, four on the second pass, and probably if we do a third pass, we'll probably be three or three and a half somewhere in there. 
gonna finish it off with uh, well here right here before I get to the aftershave I got a brand new uh, Allen block from uh, Phoenix shaving with the no slip grip right there brand new now I'll show you what this looks like I've been using my original Allen block from Phoenix shaving that uh, I've been using on and off camera since I got it and I'll show you the difference here it is right here I took the no slip grip off there it is you can see the difference between the two of them and uh, boy this thing really gave me a lot of performance and it's still gonna give me some more performance uh, I mean there's still a lot there this is probably one of the best bargains out, of, out there right now and I'm gonna be using the dry dock system so here's my new one right there and uh, the one I have been using is right here. Now, I, the new one I bought in the uh, travel case, right here. The travel case, it comes with a no-slip grip and the brand new Allen block. So I'm going to put the old one in there. And I'll probably continue to use this one off camera, that sort of thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is an absolutely great deal to travel with. Uh, with the new Allen block in here, the no-slip grip and a nice travel case. Really, probably one of the better Allen block deals out there. And the fact that it's lasted this long, really wonderful. Uh, okay, so then we're going to finish it up with uh, Future Fiction. Uh, aftershave. Love this scent. Absolutely love the scent. And also, for upstairs, Future Fiction Star Jelly. Their aftershave balm. So you know what? We got everything here. This has been soaking long enough. So you know what? I am going to just take this little bit of water here. It's in the travel scuttle. And I'm just going to dump that in there like that. Soap is still in there. Let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Now with the, uh, the cube, I'm going to wash my face. And as I said, this acts as a degreaser. Usually I, I would skip this. When I first got the cube, I was just skipping this. I'm just rubbing on my face and then lathering over it but I do the extra step now as described in the instructions okay that's got it let's rinse this off okay it took me quite a bit to get that rinsed off but that's okay my skin feels prepared now uh, and, you know all the oil and grease that might have been on there is off it acts like I say it acts as a degreaser so now we just rub this against the grain and then we use that to help build our lather let's get the uh, amber aerolite shaving brush here Here's my travel scuttle. I've already got some hot water in the inner chamber there. This soap is ready to go. And again, I love this scent. But more importantly, I love the performance of CK6. It really does give great, great performance. Offers, offers wonderful, wonderful lathering performance. I'm gonna do a combination of building a lather here in the scuttle and doing a face lather to kind of get things going from the cube that is laying on there also. CK6 likes water, so as you lather on your face or in your bowl, you may find you have to add a little bit of water as you go. That's okay. It's to be expected. And look at that. I mean, <laughs> already. Wow. Okay, so let's just let's just get this on there. Oh man, love that scent. Okay, so right away I can see I can, I'm going to need a little water here. That's okay. I'm just going to dip into the sink. I'm going to some more water there. <laughs> Boom! Lather. Uh, the lather just explodes off of this brush. I have. N I don't think I have a shaving soap that lathers any faster than this. And CK6. I, I CK6. I think this is probably the best lathering soap I have. I mean, I'm not kidding you. 
Okay, wow. I mean, I've got a wonderful, thick, rich, creamy carpet of lather there. A lot of nice protection, offers a lot of nice glide. Hey, we're all set to go. All right, here's my Vikings blade. Emperor Augustus, adjustable razor at level five. I'm gonna run under some hot, hot, hot water here and get that heated up and then just swirl in the sink to bring it to the proper temperature. Okay, okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is nice and smooth. That is really beautiful. Wow, that's, that's marvelous. That really is. No tugging, no pulling. The weight of the razor is doing all the work. Really, really terrific. That's great. Now, the, uh, the profile of this uh, twist to open razor head is a little, little slimmer than uh, most that are out there. A little bit. So it helps get up underneath the, uh, the nostrils with that with the grain uh, north to south pass. Uh, does a nice job uh, as far as uh, twist to open razor heads uh, go. Does a, a little better job than most. All right, so that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. That's a nice first pass, and I would say that right now that's a socially acceptable shave. If I had to run to the office, I could do it without any problem. I mean, uh, terrific, terrific, terrific first pass. Love these blades, these Astra Greens. These are terrific uh, razor blades. Okay, so let's uh, lather up for pass number two. And... You have to forgive me if I lather a little too long when I'm doing these shaves. I love the lathering process. I just love it. And a lot of it has to do with the shaving soaps I use. Oh, they're just great performing soaps. I mean, the Phoenix shaving shave soaps are wonderful. And Sea King Six, their original Kokum. Uh, cocoa butter formula is also very, very good. Other shaving soaps like Tabaka, Great, Cella, Proasso, all of those soaps, the, the Phoenix Shade, the Sterling, all these, I just, I just love using them and I love lathering with them. Okay, wow, I mean, just another great coating of shaving cream again this it just a little bit of water and it likes water a little bit of water and then it comes right back and if you have to add water again for a second pass or third pass just just dip the tips of the brush in there a little bit and just add water i mean it's the wet shave right all right we're going to turn this down to level four take it down a notch okay and we're going to go with pass number two, east to west, across the green. And you can, as you know, I like shaves that are more on the mild side. And... I like to keep this uh, razor at that level, five and under. It works. It works well for me. Now, 
there's nothing that says that I can't dial up if I feel the blade is a little more on the mild side and not as sharp. I can always do that too, but these Astra blades are nice and sharp. There's also a beautiful smoothness there too. And this Vikings Blade Emperor Augustus Razor offers a very, very smooth shape. This Astra Blade is very smooth, and this Razor just complements that smoothness. All right, uh, second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, I often say that the second pass is my money pass. That's... Uh, that tells me whether or not my shave is done and my shave is done <laughs> it really is i mean i i'm done but i'm enjoying the shave so much that uh, and i've got plenty here on the brush and in the and in the tr travel scuttle that i'm going to go ahead and just do a quick third pass at uh i said three and a half three and a half that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna go at just to kind of wrap it up and again i love doing the third pass against the grain. I love the movement of the razor. I love how it's held in the hand. Uh, I just love that. Okay. That's, that's got it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So we're going to turn this down to about three and a half, just giving it a little bit of a turn. And that looks to be about three and a half right there. Not much. And we're going to go uh, south to north against the grain. Now, before I do this, a, a viewer is asking me about holding the razor, uh, that sort of thing, in an against the grain pass. I hold it like a pencil, just as I would a pencil. And that's how I hold it to do an against the grain pass. Just like this. Now, if you get a razor and you want to understand how to handle it, uh, a good rule of thumb, a good recommendation, and this is not mine. I, I, I may have read this someplace or heard from another wet shaver. I don't know. I can't take credit for it. Is to take the blade out. Take the blade out and then actually hold it in your hand and just pass it along your skin and try to get a feel of how it feels in your hand without a blade. Take the blade out. So that when you do put a blade in, you get ready for the wet shave, you're kind of familiar with the with the razor a little bit, the weight, the balance, that sort of thing. All right, so uh, pass number three, uh, south and north against the grain. Oh, that's beautiful. That really is nice. Three and a half is, is a nice mild setting for this razor, for me. Oh, that's terrific. And of course, the razor has an asymmetrical razor head where one side, this is the scalloped comb, and that's the straight bar so, uh, comb or straight bar side. So there is a, a slight difference in aggression from one side to the other. And uh, I like that. Uh, during the shave, you probably see me using one side exclusively and then maybe flipping it to the milder side of the razor to do maybe the neck or the upper lip. 
that sort of thing without having to adjust it. Although I could go in and adjust it also on the fly. That's why I like this razor so much. It gives you those, those extra added variables um, to control your shape. Well, that's the third pass done. Let's rinse. Oh, that's a beautiful shave. Oh, wow. That's an absolutely glorious, beautiful shave. Really very, very nice. We're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. The warm water will take off the excess slickness. The cold water will close my pores. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do my warm water rinse. Here's my warm water rinse. Okay, three splashes, that's all I needed. And you know, as I'm doing this, the scent from the shaving soap is still filling uh, the shaving den, my bathroom here, and it's wonderful. Love the Future Fiction scent. Okay, I flipped it to the cold side, here's my cold water rinse. Oh boy, nothing better. Nothing better. You know, it's cold outside. It's probably about uh, 15, 20 degrees and the pipes are cold, you know, coming into the house. So the cold water coming in is going to be a little extra cold. It's very, very refreshing. And with the menthol from the Cube 2.0, a nice kick. Uh, clean, fresh towel waiting for me. That's a nice shave. That is really, <laughs> that is really a nice, close, clean, smooth shave. Wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Boy, I, I, I really, really love this razor. Love the weight, love the design, the color scheme. Just love the quality of shave it gives me. Uh, it has that beautiful smoothness to it. Uh, but the Astro Blade for me is just a, a winning combination in this blade. Uh, okay, so here it is, brand new. Uh, first time out, we're going to run her some cold water and then uh, run it on over the face to see what kind of feedback we get. All righty. Ooh, that's good and cold. That's really refreshingly cold. All right, here we go. Oh, as smooth as ice, no stinging, no zinging at all. Marvelous. A little bit of bracing from the actual alum block because it does have astringent qualities. So I feel a little bit of that bracing there. But uh, there it is right there. Put it in a dry dock system because you know there's all that great ventilation there. Put it in there and let the... Uh, air in the room do its job and it will dry it out. That's terrific. Yeah, this has been a, a wonderful shave with some really, really uh, terrific shaving gear that I haven't used on camera for uh, some time and uh, just a great to come back to them because they've delivered so many great shaves for me. And uh, as I say, Future Fiction was uh, the very first soap that I used from Phoenix Shaving and I absolutely love this scent. Uh, just, uh, it's, it's fantastic. It really is. And uh, Formula CK6, yeah, it's, it is terrific. Terrific, terrific performance. Just like it a lot. And yeah, I've got uh, a lot more here in the brush. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's just, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, we will clean that up later. But you know how well those brushes from Phoenix Shave or synthetic brushes in general clean up. They, they do a, just a great job in cleaning up. We're going to go ahead and just uh, finish this shave off. Uh, I'm going to, this uh, album has been on there long enough, so we're going to go ahead and use Future Fiction. Again, love the scent. Oh, this is perfect. This is great summertime scent, but anytime, anytime around the, any, any time of the year, it'd just be perfect. It's wonderful.
very fresh really really lively uh like it a lot really love it okay and then we've got the uh, future fiction and again i love this artwork the artwork is just you know that's the cartoonist in me i just love this buck rogers flash gordon kind of artwork love that just love love just love all of that about I love a lot of the art from uh, the Phoenix Shaving uh, product line. Okay, so here is the Star Jelly. About that much there. And I am due for a head shave, so. Might follow up later on with a head shave or maybe tomorrow. Might use the same razor and blade combination, only make it a little bit more milder because it's my head. All right, great shave, really, really terrific. Wow, it was just uh, just great having this shave with this razor and this razor blade. These razor blades, these Astra razor blades, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get another hundred of them. I, I like them a lot. I've been using them off camera more than I have on camera because I've been trying different blades and new razors and that sort of thing. But boy, this was a wonderful combination. This adjustable razor and this razor blade. Smooth, sharp, uh, just efficient, just a terrific, terrific shave. Really, just a wonderful, clean shave. Uh, wonderful. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. There's a wonderful brightness there, liveliness in my skin. I think it has to do with the Cube 2.0 and also Formula CK6, because there's some really, between those two products, there's some great skin food ingredients there. Uh, and uh, this razor did an absolutely wonderful job. There is a smoothness and an efficiency in this razor. Smooth, 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 love it. All right, um, well, you know what, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic trip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rating where you'll find all the products I review on this channel Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.